Hi, I'm Scott with Fluid Iron Fluid Bar, and today I'm going to show you how to disassemble and change the rotation on this 2520V double pump. To begin with, we're going to remove the four bolts from the end of the cover. Okay, with the four bolts removed, we're going to rock the rear cover off. It's a little sticky it's pulling the cartridge kit with it. That's okay. That's how it's supposed to be. So here we have our rear cover with our cartridge kit inside. We're now going to separate the cartridge kit from the cover. And to do that, you just give it a little twist and it should separate. Also, the cover O-ring has come off with it. We'll reinstall that when we put it back on. With the cartridge on its nose, we're going to take a 964 Allen wrench and we're going to remove the two screws and hold this together. Now we have the cartridge. We're going to pull off the rear support plate. We're going to set that down. It's taking the pins with it. That's all right. Put those in there. We're now going to slide off the cam ring rotor veins as one assembly. We're going to turn it over. We're going to rotate it in half in rotation. We're going to reinstall the rear cover, rear support. All right, now it's been reinstalled. We have the two pins that protrude from the back. We're going to reinstall the screw set screws that hold it together. These screws don't have to be torqued down real tight, they just need to be snug to hold it together for installation. So now I'm going to take the rear cover and I'm going to reinstall this O-ring in the groove. While you have this pump apart, now's a good time to install a new seal kit. Set it in, give it a little twist until it seats. Now we're going to set this aside and work on the next part. I'm not going to remove these four screws and hold the inlet body. This takes a 19 millimeter socket. With the screws removed, I'm now going to rotate the inlet body back and forth until I can slide it off of the front cartridge kit. Set the inlet body aside. This is our cartridge kit installed in the front. Now we're going to rock this back and forth a little bit and pull it off the shaft. This kit is a little different in that it's held together with Phillips screws. We're now going to use a Phillips screwdriver to remove these two screws. With the screws removed. I'm now going to remove the rear support plate. I'm now going to rotate or flip over the cam ring, the rotor, and the uh, veins. Let me rotate it. Now I'm going to reinstall the support plate. With the cartridge kit rotation changed, we're now going to reinstall the screws that hold it together. Now we have to make sure that the whole ring is properly seated in the housing. Front cover. Now slide it over the shaft and into place. You'll notice on the rear of this cartridge kit that there are two pins that protrude. Those pinholes 
need to line up with the inside of this housing. So currently those pinholes in the housing are lined up this way. I'm going to turn the cartridge kit the same direction and we'll slide it into place. Make a little rotation and it should fit flush. Now I'm going to reinstall the four bolts that hold this together. With the four bolts installed, you'll have to torque them to the specific specification per pump. You want to be sure you tighten them in a classic star pattern so that you get an even seating on the O-rings. We're now going to install our rear cover with our pump that's cartridge that's had the rotation change. And again, we have the two pin locating pins that need to line up with the pins inside the housing. We're going to slide this assembly into place. Little rotation and it slides into place. That's where you locate your porting and then you reinstall the four bolts that hold the cover on. The bolts for the rear cover are going to install just like the front half. You're going to want to tighten them in a star pattern and then you're going to want to tighten them to the correct specification. After everything's completed, if you change the rotation, you're going to want to remove the tag and indicate so on the pump part number. And that's it. That's how you change the rotation on a B-Series tandem pump.